Hey y'all, do you wanna make 2023 your year? I know that I do. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I prepare for 2023 in order to make it the year of me and the year of self growth and getting after all of my goals. Okay, so the first step I did in order to make 2023 the year of me, I first grabbed my best year journal from this past year, from 2022. And I just like looked through it, I reviewed my goals, I watched my YouTube video where I talked about all my goals from last year. And based on that, I kind of decided like what direction I wanted to go in based on last year and like what goals I had accomplished, which ones I had kind of fallen short on and what needed to change in order to make this year even better. I think I definitely realized by looking through my journal and just looking at all my goals, I think I had way too many. They're very like specific goals, which is good, but I feel like I just didn't, there were just too many to like even keep track of. And I feel like I ended up like changing some, editing some. And this year I wanna change that. I wanna actually be able to like keep track of my goals. Then I grabbed my best year journal the one I got for this year, I just got it from Amazon. And I just did a little bit of reflecting to kind of get to the root of like what I wanted to accomplish this year and kind of like what my goals were. I think just like writing things out is so, so important. And this journal has like specific prompts that you can use. So I'm gonna roll that clip of me doing some journaling, doing some reflecting. So, so far I've been going through my best year journal from the past year and I've just been going through all the different sections and just like reviewing my year. So it asks your top five happiest moments, small things you've enjoyed in your day-to-day -day life, things you did for the first time, just different like prompts like this that you just go through. So I'm currently working on just doing that. I reviewed the one from last year already and then the journal also has like a monthly and weekly review section so i just kind of went through that really recapped my year i was going through like my camera roll snapchat memories all of that I'm going to do goal setting i also like to plan out my goals first um started in kind of like december for the next year in my notes app i just like whenever i think of one i just write it down and i feel like it's helpful to start implementing your goals before the new year even starts so once new year begins you kind of already have those habits and you can continue them for the next year. Like I said, this journal has so, so many like great aspects to it. I love how there's like a review of your last year. Sorry guys, I decided to get a little closer, readjust the camera. But the next step after going through my best year journal and reflecting is to pick my word of the year. And basically for picking your word of the year, it's kind of picking like the theme you want for the year or like a feeling maybe you want to embody or maybe it's based around a big goal you want to accomplish things like that. Now I kind of started talking about this with my mom a little bit before Christmas, actually like right after I came home from break. And this year I kind of wanted to go like a different direction. Now that I'm in college, now that I'm an official adult, now that I've kind of like had my first semester under my belt, I decided the word of the year I wanted to pick was cultivate. I found the word cultivate and I thought that was so interesting because I feel like personally for me, I'm kind of focused sometimes on very like quick, snappy results, like instant gratification. Like I find myself like skipping, like clicking like 10 seconds on like Netflix shows and stuff like that because I'm like, I'm bored. I want to get to the next part. And then I'm kind of like losing part of the plot because I'm like skipping parts and I'm bored and I just want to get to the end. And that's why I love TikTok so much because easy quick you can just scroll 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 and i kind of wanted to change that mindset up for this coming year and work on cultivating and i feel like to me cultivating it's very similar to like growth and growing but it also means like to me a very like careful creation you're taking a lot of time to cultivate things like if you're a farmer like cultivating crops like you're putting a lot of time and effort into something maybe before you even like see results and that's what i want to do this year i want to put a lot of work into myself and put a lot of work into my friendships put a lot of work into my youtube channel 
and just trust that everything is going to work out and those crops are gonna grow. The next thing I did was picked my intention to the year. I was listening to one of Gabby Bernstein's podcasts and I think it was, I forget the title, but I'll put it on the screen. And she was talking about why it's important that we make intentions for the new year and not resolutions. And I remember in my video from last year, I was talking about calling them resolutions, calling them goals. And this year I'm changing goals to intentions. And I feel like that just like fits a lot better. So my overall intention is to cultivate confidence and push myself out of my comfort zone. Being in college can be kind of scary sometimes, challenging, there's lots of new experiences, but I wanna push myself to like live my college experiences to the fullest and really just like experience and try new things because that's what your whole college experience is there for. Okay, I'm like reading out my goals from here because I don't have them memorized, but now for my goals. I picked five goals this year because I figured, I think like last year I had probably 10 or something. That was just way too many. So I picked five goals. They're, they're a bit more broad, but I wanted to pick five goals that I feel like really fit the theme of my year. First goal is to continue to like cultivate strong relationships and be better at staying in touch with people because I feel like literally over this break, I've been like MIA because I seriously, I'm not a big Snapchat person. I, That's kind of it. I Snapchat maybe two people. I think that this year, I really want to be a lot better at reaching out to people more and making plans and staying in touch with people because I struggle with that a lot. My second goal is to reinstate social media list days once a week. So I think I was talking about this in one of my last videos, but I used to have social media list days on Sundays, but when I moved to college, that didn't really, that didn't really work. So I think moving it to Mondays will be a lot better because I have class on Monday, I have chapter on Monday, and overall, I'll just be a lot busier. And I think Mondays will be like a good reset day. It's the beginning of the week. And I think just setting myself up on that good note and I've already started doing it and I feel like I've seen results. So happy about that goal for sure. The next goal overall is to take more chances and plan more adventures. I really wanted, well, I originally was thinking of going to Coachella, but then the lineup is just not my favorite and just paying a lot of money for that. I didn't know if I was into that. But I really wanna find like concerts and like fun things to do with my friends. I wanna like explore San Diego and kind of going along with that, like taking more like this sounds silly, but like taking more like Instagram pictures and like capturing more moments like on my channel or like on my Instagram, stuff like that. Number four is keeping a consistent workout and morning routine. I think something that really helped me last semester was like going to the gym, working out, but I kind of fell off of that like in November. So I think this semester, I really want to bring that back and find enjoyable movement that I love doing because over break, I've been going to Orange Theory like four times a week and I've been loving it. And also just keeping a consistent morning routine, keeping a sense of like normalcy in my life is just very important to me. I'm so like routine oriented, so this will definitely help. And number five is setting myself up for success by time blocking and using Notion to prevent procrastination. And this one's a big one because I feel like last semester towards the end, I procrastinated a lot and I feel like I just kind of like spent time literally just wasting time doing nothing like on my phone and this semester i want to be a lot more intentional with my time i want to spend more time on my channel and i want to really devote a lot of time to my sorority and my sorority jobs and devote time to friends and family and all of that and i can only do that really realistically for me if i'm making a schedule making a plan and i'm not procrastinating because i feel like i waste so much time doing that and it serve does not serve me at all so the next thing i did was probably one of my favorite steps was make my vision boards i will put my phone wallpaper on the screen right now because i'm currently filming on my phone so i can't really show it but every year i'm like wow i just i just outdid myself and i feel like this year is no different i love this year's vision board and i feel like it captures a lot more of my goals because I feel like last year's like I added random aesthetic photos that really just did not fit in at all. But this year I really wanted to pick like quotes and things that like really just 
exactly embodied like what I wanted for the new year. And I didn't do a computer screen vision board last year. And I feel like it's gonna be so much more helpful doing one this year because like, having like these two different vision boards, I look at my computer all the time to edit and do schoolwork. I look at my phone all the time. And I think seeing that constant reminder is really going to help me, remind me of my goals and keep me on track. And then literally today, I made my 2023 playlist. There's a lot of SZA on there. I wanted to go to her concert because it's, because SZA is performing at my school, like five minutes away from my dorm, but tickets were so expensive and I was not able to get one in time. And you guys can go give it a listen. I will link it down below. And I'll also just like put my Spotify name on the screen in case you guys want to follow me. I make playlists all the time and I love doing it. I really wanted to make a more like upbeat playlist for the new year. Also restarted my Notion page. I kind of just abandoned Notion for a while. But it's actually so helpful for working on YouTube especially. And I don't know if you can like access other people's Notion profiles, but I think I'm actually gonna get my laptop and show you guys because seriously, my Notion, I'm so proud of it. I literally worked so hard on it and I think it looks so cute. Vision board right here. And I think she's gorgeous, love it so much. And I, I did it a little differently for my phone one, which I feel like will help me to like not ignore it because sometimes I'll just like open my phone or open my computer without just taking a second to look at it. I recommend that everyone make a vision board. By the way, I didn't mention this, but I made my phone one on Fonto. They have like a preset for the iPhone 13, which is what I have. And then for my computer, I made it on Canva, just using the dimensions of like a MacBook. I think I have a MacBook Air. So just use those dimensions in case you were curious. And both of those services are free, which is like so awesome. Also guys, I literally, I'm so happy about this. Today, I was able to change my schedule so I no longer have a Monday night class, which means I can go to chapter dinner and I've actually never been more happy. So I'm very, very, very excited about that because I had no idea how I was gonna eat dinner because I was gonna have a class from four to 6.40 and then chapter from seven to like 8.30. And then when was I gonna eat dinner? I had no idea. I literally forgot what I was doing, but I'm pulling up my Notion and I seriously just have a free plan on Notion and it's great and I recommend everyone get it because it's free. So my first slide is my daily slide and I feel like I haven't been using that that much, but it's cute. She's pretty and I feel like when I go back to school, I'll use it. Next is lifestyle and I just have like links to like resets and like routines and stuff like that. This one is amazing. I have like a full YouTube tracker, 2023 like intentions page, which I like just read out. And I also have like an ongoing 2023 gratitude list. I actually need to like start writing in this because it's January, what? January 13th and I have not written on this, on this gratitude list at all. But my idea was that I would have an ongoing gratitude list and at the end of the year, I could like look at it, it'd be cute. So that actually just reminded me that she's so cute. And then I just like months of the year with like a little recap. I don't know if I'm gonna use that to be honest. And then finally, I have a little SDSU section. I am so proud I have my, actually I have to update my class schedule, but I have my semester planning matrix. So cute. like. How perfect is that? And every single week of school. I even have, I even have my sorority Kappa Delta on here just because um, we have like sorority events and stuff. I, I a million percent recommend that you guys make your own notion and you maybe do a little mini yearly reset or even a reset for February and plan those goals, plan your action steps, plan your support team, plan how you're gonna do it and kind of maybe go through some of the steps that I suggested, do some journaling, listen to my playlist, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. This seriously was such a fun video for me to film, just like talking, showing my computer, randomly talking about my classes, like this was great, okay. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.